What's up guys, it's Phil the Toy Reviewer here and I'm back, wow it's been a long time hasn't it, a good few years since Phil the Toy Reviewer has been reviewing toys, what a strange way to reintroduce this channel, but here we go. So the point of this is, why not start reviewing some stuff that not many other people try and review, why not? So you may have seen these things in your local supermarket, obviously um, you can tell by my accent and the channel has been around for quite a long time so if you've watched the other videos you know that I am English, I live in England and these were found in English uh, places. So these are, as the box says, Spider-Man vinyl bobbleheads, they are blind packed um, and you'll find them in any regular supermarket, I think I got these in Tesco. Um, I got this one in Tesco, so I do have another um, blind pack video. You can tell I've already opened it so I know which figure it is and you'll know by the title page which figure it is. But these are lovely little um, little vinyl figures. They come... Um, <clears throat> there are a number of, of different ones if you just look at the back here. There's a couple of Spider-Man figures, there's a Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Venom, um, Rhino, Sandman, Lizard, you know, all the kind of ones that you would expect from a Spider-Man themed line. So the box is fairly ordinary, they do come blind packed inside, there's literally, it's just that, that is all you get. Um, do you get a card that tells you what other kind of figures are in the wave? I'm not sure because it's all on the back there, but that's basically it. It's really, really nice packaging, it is good. A couple of pictures on the front, a couple of pictures on the back, and that's it. It comes in just a, a plastic, a black kind of vinyl, almost like a bin liner material. And the one that we're going to be looking at today is Venom. Now, they don't move, they're not articulated, they are bobble heads, but the bobbles aren't particularly great. I mean, you know, it's the, the, this one in particular is incredibly stiff, you can see... It's really stuff. However, the actual toy, the actual figure itself, is really, really good. The paint's nice, paint's nice and clean. There's not a lot of paint on it. It's a black figure with a bit of white paint on it. But it's got the lovely yellow teeth, it's got the tongue, it's got the really, really clean uh, spider symbol on his chest and on his back. It doesn't wrap all the way around like it does in the comics. The, the lines here of the legs and the lines there they should wrap under his arm and complete it should be a one unbroken design he's big just to give you a a size comparison <clears throat> here he is next to a three and three quarter inch Marvel Universe figure so obviously he's not big in terms of he's not a six inch figure he's not even as big as a um, a three and three quarter inch figure but compared to uh, the other um, figures in the line and in, in my next review I'll, you'll get a better size comparison um, he's pretty decent um, just for those who uh, collect transformers if we look at the um, another size comparison there he is next to a titan master I can't remember which one that is but who cares it's all about the size right so there he is bit of a size comparison so it's not a bad, it's not a figure, it's not a toy, but in terms of getting these in display, I've got a couple of them in the glass cabinet, they're really good fun, they don't particularly bobble head, but the designs are nice, he's nice and bulky, um, and it does look kind of cool for as like a desk ornament, and or a, a display ornament in your, in your detolfs. So there he is, I think these cost a couple of quid. Um, so if you don't mind having like non-posable, like little vinyl figures, then by all means pick them up. They'll be a great kind of addition to your desktop display or just a little uh, kind of smattering here and there. <clears throat> if you want to spruce up your desk at work or something like that, then I think they're a really cool pick. Um, and there's a load of them. This is Series 2. Um, does it say Series 2 on anyway? I thought it did. Um, well... There we are. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. There'll be numerous more um, throughout the, the year, I would imagine. So, yeah, a couple of quid. Blind pack, don't know what you're getting. Very happy with Venom, very happy with the whole kind of concept in general. So, there we are. Until next time, enjoy.